Stephen Alston, full time Devils outside Wembley, where it is. Happy, happy Reds coming out of the stadium after we've just won the EFL trophy. James and Ryan, what did you make of that performance? Um, to quote the Ferguson family motto, sweeter after difficulties. And we had a fair few difficulties today, didn't we? Um, to be fair, though, it's a cup one. It um, wasn't a particularly yeah, nice. pressing performance, but nevertheless, we've won. So happy days. Um, it's one we should just need to put under our belt, move on from now, and then see what happens as we go on. I wanted to talk to this uh, about this exact thing, what you've just said there to someone yeah. once I came out here tonight. We, I'm going to come to you, Ryan. If, so we've, we've won a cup. Do we now move on and forget about it? There can't be any time for complacency. There can't be any time for resting on our laurels. We've got a lot of football to be playing, haven't we? What do we do? Celebrate tonight, forget it, move on. Now you celebrate tonight, have a good night tonight, and then you move on. This should be giving the momentum now to move on to Europa League, focus on finishing the top four, maybe catch Chelsea, can't see it though, and then getting a Champions League place definitely. But I think now we crack on, we look at the FA Cup, we look at the Europa League. The Europa League is something we should be winning now, definitely. But tonight Zlatan won it for us and it was a cracking, cracking game. Yeah. Let's talk about Zlatan then, so he's not been as accurate as you maybe would expect, yeah. despite being our far and away leading goal scorer. Today he pops up, yeah. clinical Zlatan today. What was the best bit about him today, do you think? To be fair, that's all we need him to do. As long as he pops up, scores the odd goal, fine. That's great. I mean, OK, sometimes it's slightly frustrating watching him play. <laughs> but after today, then you, you, you can't argue, can you, really? You can't argue. And, it, and if, if he goes on scoring as he is, then great, get him signed up to another year. So we'll see what happens. Jose Mourinho today, Ryan. What do you give him as a rating? Because I thought his, his change at half time was the correct one. I thought we needed to go to three in the middle to try and combat what Southampton was doing. And then obviously brings on Rashford, which started to stretch the defence. And I think that was possibly one of the reasons why we saw Zlatan finding space at the end to get the winner. Yeah, I think uh, Mourinho made the right decision today. He had to bring on Carrick on to support the defence. And to be fair, Southampton, the second half, I didn't really see them doing, doing much. They didn't really, they hit the post, yeah, but then as soon as we controlled the game, as soon as Carrick came on, we just controlled the game and we didn't, to be, I didn't think we was going to win it, to be honest. I didn't think we was going wide enough and then once we started to get in the wide, you see what Zlatan's like, you don't give him that much space and Herrera, what a ball and what a finish, that's it. None of us are going to get carried away about what this trophy means. It isn't the World Cup, it's not a Champions League, it's not the biggest trophy that you can win. But what's this trophy and what's this win at Wembley, again for Manchester United, going to mean for this group of players? I think for the players it's very, very important. I mean, as you saw, Mourinho kind of held off a little bit towards the end there. Players were going up, the players will take the credits and they deserve it, don't they? So it's one of those things. I mean, I think it'll be important from, net, from it'll take us forward now. I'm thinking of going getting rid of that Bobby Moore statue and putting a Jesse Lingard up one. Are you going to help me? <laughs> oh, definitely. Put a Jesse Lingard. He loves Wembley. Two crack, cracking goals when he's been here, but I don't think we could take, I don't think we'll take what City take from this. It's just a bit of a morale boost yeah. if, in my eyes, but you know what City are like. This is like, they probably think they win the league if City were here, but we just crack on and move on and next, next trophy, FA Cup, Europa League, and hopefully top four. Cheers, lads.